actually start the class. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, so today I'll be taking over the whole genome sequencing data analysis workshop. Uh, myself is Ishwari, and uh, I shall be your instructor for today and tomorrow. So uh, I hope I'm audible to you. Uh, kindly let me know if I'm not. Yes, yes you are audible. Yes. Uh, audible. Oh, okay. No problem. Uh, everyone, uh, you can interact as I think. Yes, for everyone it is uh, audible. I think so. You can interact in between. So okay, then only it will be better. Uh, workshop will be better. Okay. 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 I'll just share my screen. Uh, is the screen visible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. You yes. can go to uh, uh, slideshow mode. Uh, yes, but um, the system is getting loud. Ah, it's okay. Sure. okay. You can take your time. Yes. So, uh, yeah, as we begin with this uh, workshop, so I'll be talking about whole genome sequencing. Uh, I'll For today's class, I'll just give a uh, detailed uh, introduction about whole genome sequencing and analysis the types of analysis which we usually follow in the industry level and uh, so today it will just be about the basics and how to fetch the data and how, how to identify the data the data quality and how to take further for advanced analysis and uh, then tomorrow's class i'll uh, take over for purely it will be about the an analysis part so as I had, I've instructed, we will require a Linux environment system for a smooth analysis. If not, also we have a data analysis web, uh, database called Galaxy, where you know once you can log in and register your account and you can access the tools it provides for basic analysis. So uh, firstly, I'll just give you a brief introduction and then I'll take further from there. So uh, as we are uh, all are aware of NGS-based uh, data sequencing uh, here, so we have mul many multiple uh, applications. Like one can be whole genome sequencing analysis, which is a topic for the day. Then we have whole exome sequencing analysis. We can also ca conduct uh, metagenomics, metatranscriptomics, that is RNA sequencing, DNA sequencing, then whole transcriptomics, then a targeted DNA RNA sequencing, uh, methylation, chip sequencing, etc. So all uh, I would not be talking in deep for all the uh, uh, analysis because right now our focus is whole genome sequencing. So as the name suggests itself, uh, what whole genome sequencing does is it takes the entire genome in consideration base to base and it gives us a depth a knowledge of each nucleotide present. So it is very easy to understand the variations present, you know, and we can compare it with the known genome which was already sequenced or we can also identify new variants if it was not earlier present this this is a very basic uh, example i have given so basically the main purpose of whole genome sequencing is the purpose of whole genome sequencing is to identify the genetic basis for any of organism we are studying and it help it also we can study the protein coding genomic sequence that is so uh, this is another part of whole exome sequencing here so wgs does everything here in this in its purpose it also identifies uh, copy number variants 
single nucleotide polymorphisms, structural variants, you know, insertions, deletions, and single nucleotide variants, and germline somatic variants as well. So uh, for analysis as per say, uh, there is no golden uh, rule to follow the particular workflow. So, uh, so there are many tools available and uh, as per our system configurations and as per a purpose of the study and what we want to identify, based on that, we can uh, set a strategy right from the data, uh, raw data to variance identification. So there is no uh, golden uh, workflow present to follow here. Uh, and it also enables the, the anal analyzed result also enables us to further conclude uh, the disease specific variations present so that we can give a deep understanding for personalized medicine. Like this is currently in use in the industry, especially in the diagnostic lab kits. They take into consideration the variants which are identified and then uh, based on the clinical patient sample, they provide a personalized therapy. Like this is used uh, for multi-resistant tuberculosis treatment, for example. So this uh, is a whole uh, uh, introduction about the whole genome sequencing and its purpose. Of course, it has its own uh, advantages and uh, obstacles. So obstacles here will be we need a high computation system for an analyzing because the data is usually huge here since it's a whole genome which is considered. Now, the basic two types of approaches for analyzing the whole genome sequencing data is one is reference-based and the other will be de novo-based. So reference-based here is, uh, it basically means reference genome, like for example, uh, human, mice, Arabidopsis, Thaliana, etc. For all these uh, organisms or of interest or species of interest, mm -hmm. we have a reference genome which is already sequenced and is available in, for data, uh, ready data. So these reference genomes can be used and we can use our raw data and we can map it with the reference genome available and we can study accordingly. But in case it's a fresh genome which has never been sequenced before, we can also use that data and we can form our own uh, interpretation. So that is a de novo based approach. So in a reference based approach, what happens is we take our raw data and we map it with the readily available, completely sequenced available data we map it to the genome and we get the uh, get to identify what are the variants and based on the annotations they have mentioned but uh, in the novo based uh, approach we, we will not be able to identify that in much in detail because it's not yet genome uh, sequenced completely so that gives a, uh, another set of uh, up, it, it, it gives us a way to for another approach that is we are discovering here uh, for novel variants like we can discover never never before seen variants or never before seen mutations and etc and that's the basic difference between uh, reference based and de novo based approaches here so uh, this slide uh, this is an image from which shows the basic workflow for uh, identification of SNPs, indels, that is insertions and deletions together is called indels in germline DNA. But this is a rough work workflow which is also followed throughout the industry or for in even research labs for identification of uh, variants, that is we take the raw data, that is raw unmapped reads, and then we map it to the reference genome if available. And then we uh, take the raw mapped reads and we mark the duplicates here. Duplicates are again, that is uh, that those part I will be explaining in detail tomorrow while we do the analysis. And based on the quality scores of the basis we get, we'll analyze the reads further and then we call the reads for variants using a GATK free based tools. And we annotate them and we identify the number of uh, SNPs, indels, variations present in that particular sample and we further filter and annotate as per the our study purposes so uh, this this i have listed the very general workflow that is again we take the raw reads we take its filter, filtered qc that is quality score or quality calibration we do the pre-processing that is we remove the adapter sequences if there are any we remove the low quality reads if any and then we align it we mark the pcr duplicates and then we do the variant calling and then 
uh, genome assembly comes in step of uh, de novo based uh, uh, WGS analysis. Then we further annotate it and then we go for uh, advanced analysis. One, one such example is uh, phylogenetic analysis. It need not be the same for any other study. So it is based on how, what are you looking for in the data. This is also another clinical uh, exam, clinical uh, WGS analysis workflow that is same uh, fast Q score we take and then we trim the data. So these are the tools that have been listed here. For fast Q, that is the quality score, we use fast QC mostly. And then for trimming the uh, reads, we use Trimomatic or Cut Adapt or BB Duck tool, etc. Trim Galore. Then we align it based on the organism. Like BWA aligner is a tool which is used for uh, high genomic organism like mammals, like human, mice, etc. Botai tool is used for low genome size uh, organisms, etc. Then we uh, after mapping, we get SAM files or BAM files, which are the computer in input files. And one is human readable file, which are used, uh, which will give us the coordinates of all the variants, the reference genome and the, the data which contains the variants. So this example of SAM file, example of a variant file, I shall be showing it to you all tomorrow in the analysis. So for today's part, we'll be focusing on the first, that is the quality control or as to how do we take the data? How do we uh, take it further for quality analysis? And how do we judge as to what the data to keep and what data to remove for the analysis? And uh, tomorrow I'll be uh, explaining about the alignment and variant calling. So uh, these are the basic list of tools we require for the analysis. Well, fast QC, multi QC are quality analysis tools. Then, uh, of course, with uh, the analysis I'll be taking today, it will require Illumina based uh, reads. Then, uh, Trimomatic or BB tools or Cut Adapt, such tools are required for trimming the data, if, we, if any. And alignment tools like BWA and Bowtie or Bowtie 2. Then, we read, uh, require a reference genome and uh, we require variant calling tools and SNP tools, which I shall be again mentioning later in the study. So uh, this uh, slide talks about the advantages of whole genome sequencing. As I had mentioned, uh, we get to know the genome uh, sequence by base to base. It gives information per nucleotide here. And it's, it's a very high resolution uh, method to understand the genome. And it captures both large and small variants. And uh, of course, it helps to identify the causative variants for, for further expression studies and regulatory studies. And it also delivers large volumes of data in a very quick time, of course. And so here, this is a little similar to whole exome sequencing, but whole genome sequencing, it considers the entire genome in consideration. But exome sequencing, it will just give us the information of protein coding genes, excluding the rest of the genome. And again, it is very ideal for discovery applications like variant discovery and novel genome assembly. Uh, it's also used in clinical uh, analysis, like in clinical samples. So it's almost the same, just the annotation part and the filtering part will change until the first, uh, the basic analysis that is raw reads, mapping the raw reads and filtering and identifying the variants remains the same throughout. But based on the approach we need that is general or clinical, the downstream analysis will change. Like for clinical here, uh, we will have to annotate the reads. Then we will have to filter it based on the variant type. Some might, some studies only look for single nucleotide polymorphism. Some studies only look for insertions, deletions, etc. So based on what we are looking for, the downstream analysis changes. Uh, so the prerequisites which are required to perform uh, WGS analysis is uh, Linux, Unix tools and installations. R is for graphical visualization, visualization that happens in the very downstream analysis. For, for the current workshop, it's not really required. Uh, then we will need GUI applications such as um, one is Galaxy, which I mentioned for in case some tools are not accessible. Then we will need uh, some annotation tools as well and some graphical uh, tools which are also directly available via Google. And some are, of course, some raw data sets in case we, don't, we do not have a 
free data set available with us. We can download them from public databases like GEO and the cancer database, that is TCGA. So uh, main thing for uh, analysis is we will have to use FASTQ files over FASTA files. Uh, I hope everyone is uh, clear with the slide till here. And please let me know if I need to repeat anything so that I can take it further. Hello. Yeah. Uh, just let me know if I need to repeat any of the slide or any point before I take it further. Usually, yes. Usually, one in chat box, one type piece use mouse pointer while explaining. So, uh, sure, uh, sure. So that uh. they can get it, and uh, people, um, uh, the participants can interact with the instructor. You can switch on your mic. You are free to switch on your mic. Yes, yes. Please let me know uh, anything. Please uh, you check can... on this chat box also. Yes. Uh, so it's clear for everybody. I think three people have said so. Okay, uh, so I'll proceed with the requirements and I'll just give a, a brief Linux uh, introduction and I shall move for, forward. Sure. Uh, so, uh, so as I had mentioned, uh, we require a Linux environment for analysis. Basically, the reason why is most of the analysis tools that we use for uh, any any NGS data analysis, be it uh, RNA sequencing, be it whole genome sequencing, they are all uh, the tools are coded as per uh, such that they are suited for. Linux environment. Uh, so Windows takes a lot of time in downloading the data and analyzing each file. So it is for smooth analysis. You know, Linux makes it very smoother. So uh, like this one example I have given here is FastQC. How do we use FastQC here? So as I had mentioned, uh, FastQC is the quality tool. So FastQC, we can just come uh, execute it by just typing FastQC. Here, minus H will give you a help uh, thing, which will give all sort of uh, commands that can be used. Then BW indexing. Uh, in detail, I shall be explaining it to you all tomorrow. This is just a reference tutorial I have put here. How do we execute in Linux environment for our analysis? Uh, then SAM tools, again, for SAM files, BAM files, conversions, and visualizations. And GATK is one of the variant calling tools which we will use. Uh, of course, I uh, shall also leave it to your choice of interest based on the systems you all have so that uh, you know uh, it doesn't get too much for the system to uh, work. Uh, again, now for the raw data analysis, what we'll have to do is we'll have to download the data. So I have uh, made an SOP here to fetch raw data from a very popular site that is GEO. Uh, GEO, so this is the SOP. What we can do is we can directly go to GEO and can search for whole genomes. Since this uh, workshop is about whole genome sequencing, we need WGS data. We can just type WGS and it will pop out like this, we can just select the hyperlink and we can proceed further with the data. So uh, here it will give us all sort of studies which have worked on whole genome sequencing. So we need to keep in mind the type of data we want. Uh, like here, the first study is for chicken, that is gallus gallus. So it does have a complete reference genome. So you know, you may select this study if you want, because this is the genome is readily available or and uh, you can also go with mice here, or you can go with you know, homo sapiens, like one such studies over here. But uh, before before selecting any study, what we'll have to check is the type here, that is 
what is the sequencing they have used so here it they do mention that they have taken whole genome sequencing analysis into consideration of five chicken fibroblasts etc so this gives us a confirmation that this is uh, the data library is used for our purpose of study that is whole genome sequencing some studies do use multiple sequencing like for example the second one they use expression profiling and genome profiling etc so we may not have to consider that but i mean even if you're considering because they have mentioned that they have integrated wgs data sets uh, you know we may have to find out what data set exactly belongs to wgs etc like most maybe the samples right from this sample they are all wgs uh, data sets so accordingly we will have to select the data set for our analysis so i'll just go with the first study here this for example you can select the data set of your choice please uh, and now to download the data set this is the very basic uh, process i'm showing we go to the sra file here sra id and it will open a page which gives us the link to all different data sets here so each sample we will collect click on each sample and we will go to the run id and uh, from the run id the it will take us to the data access page so it will give us metadata information it will give us the analysis they have done in the study and it it will also give us the reads filtered reads and raw reads and it will give us the data access so they have definitely uploaded the in the cloud link for ncbi so we can either sr normalized which is the amazon link they have given us or we can directly go to the ncbi the soft link they have provided the cloud link uh, so some studies also give us a directly we can download from faster fast to download but it has a problem because the data excludes 5 gb so uh, you know we'll just directly go to the normal uh, way of downloading this data either we can just directly click on this link and it will directly download from in the system or we can go to terminal we can go to the choice of our directory where we want the directory to be downloaded like here i my directory is uh, music and uh, human this is a rough directory i have created so here i will type the command w get that is it will get the link uh, data from the link and i'll just copy paste the link of the cloud link and this press enter it, it will start downloading uh, i hope you all are following this you can just continue to do this and Ms. maybe let me Ms. know Ms. can you just check the chat box also in between yes yes some are asking to go a bit slower like that like that uh, okay Maybe. sure sure uh, which point do i repeat uh, please check that uh, chat box yes. i think yes uh, so first thing we uh, in geo is after you search please go to sra uh, id uh, one second after you type wgs uh, it will take you to all the studies which have performed whole genome sequencing and you can select the study of your interest take keeping in consideration that it should have whole genome sequencing study in it and then you select the sra id and to download each data individually or one by one we can go to the particular data id scroll down and uh, we will see through the run id can 
yes uh, it's in uh, linux so i copy paste uh, but in windows you can directly select the id uh, link it will directly download it for you in the download section you go from srr file uh, but we'll have to use prefetch command and it might give some error if the prerequisites are not installed in our system Yes, uh, it does. It is of a huge uh, data. Uh, you can even take a smaller data size. Just I'll let you know. can take your time in downloading data of your interest maybe you can consider this study as well Uh, please let me know if you're following this or should I repeat a point thing? Uh, as I said, uh, whole genome sequencing will have uh, huge data size because I cannot find text uh, Did you go to data, uh, data access tab, which will have one? Else, we may select another study which has a link to download the data. Yeah, in Windows, it will take a long time to download. Please let me know if you are able to follow the steps until here. Yes, I have uh, stopped the screen sharing because I want you all to be on the same page. Shall I, uh, do you need to? You can select any data of your interest, which will have less data as well, uh, like data size, because whole genome sequencing studies do have long data. downloading will take a lot of time is it uh, yes uh, actually I had uh, provided an SOP to download them previously but I'm not sure if everyone has done download it. Or not. yeah so, that's why I like I had mentioned it before so anyone downloaded anyone attending downloaders I'll give a uh, study which has less Ah, data so size it, one uh, second but uh, it, it each of them are minimum 4 GB to 8 GB because Ah, uh, yes. Like whole genome sequencing studies yes. do have, uh, yes, yes. So 
So please provide them a less data. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm giving one uh, one second. Sure, uh, I can just show. Um, shall I proceed with the fast quality score as to how it works, or shall I wait for a few minutes? I need uh, everyone's response for this. Yes, yes. Everyone are saying that uh, if we wait, also we will. Our uh, time will go. That's why. Right. right. Uh, sure. Uh, we will be providing the recordings. I think they can do it after downloading. Uh, sure. Uh, also, I'll share which one to uh, for now. This has a. This is just four GBs file. Uh, so y'all can use this study for the analysis. Okay. And so, in Linux. So as I was saying, I have downloaded this, this particular files, raw data files, and I'll have to check for the quality scores. So I'll directly use fast QC and I'll I'll just show how it works. So fast QC help will give me all the commands fast QC has. So the basic command is I just have to give the uh, sequencing files. I need to check for the quality scores. And it'll uh, it'll give the HTML files and a zip file for visualization. That's how FastQC works basically. And here, I can mention the number of threads I need. That is how many threads I need for processing this particular analysis. So the basic, uh, I'll take the first file here. The uh, ID is this one. That is so four six nine eight. The first file I'll take. I'll just type fast QC and uh, the Mr. Shishari, your uh, screen is not visible. We can't see okay, anything. Okay, one second. Now is it again visible? Yes, yes, yes. Now yes. It's visible. Yeah, again. Okay. Uh, so I'll just show again. So we have to. We have to know what are the commands FastQC tool uses. We can just type help uh, command. It will give us a list of commands it uses as options. So the standard command we use is just FastQC and the file we are using. So the raw data files are listed as SRR underscore one dot FastQC, fastq dot zz and underscore two. That is it. So Illumina paired and reads we are uh, taking here so this is read one file and this is read two so for uh, calculating the quality scores what i'll do i'll take fast qc and i'll take the file that is first file and the second file here and i'll just press enter so it will visualize for me slowly because i've not given it any thread so it will just take a single thread and it will carry on Else, I can also give it multiple threads by specifying the command minus t, four or six or whatever threads I need, and it will uh, it will simultaneously process both the files in a faster way and give me the result. Uh, so the sample result I can show you. It's an HTML file. So this is a basic uh, fast qc report it will give us the information about everything the file name what is the file type it's the it's an illumina file so it is mentioning illumina sequencing file the number of sequences it has and gcp percent content so this is a raw data which of course it will have a lot of adapter contents and duplications and gc percentage so the first main important thing to consider is the base sequence quality here it is uh, cross checking all the base sequence quality scores and that's why it has given us a green tick mark so here in the graphical uh, visualization we need to see is all the reads should be above 30 
or 34 so we do have some wreaths which are 24 26 and maybe those will get trimmed once we trim them using trimmomatic otherwise the graph it is giving us a proper blue graph is giving us all our imperfect 36 quality scores that means all the reads belong to a very good quality score hello yes May I know? Can you please repeat your question? How can I use this screen? Yes, uh, so if the read quality is low, we'll have to see the graph where it takes us. Just one second. Like over here, this, this is the blue line, which is giving us the read quality for each base here. The blue line, I hope you can see it. Uh, It can be any sample, need not be a blood sample. The starting material for sequencing is usually DNA. So based on the study you are looking for, it can be any sample. It can be a tissue sample or a cell DNA. You need, basically, you need a DNA to get a WGS, a whole genome sequencing data. And fast QC. Okay. Yes, they do extract the DNA and they do the analysis from the blood sample as well. Uh, Sapnita, can I please, uh, can you please uh, repeat the question? Maybe you can just talk. Can you can switch on the mic and ask me? Uh, hello. Do you want to install FastQC or you want to download it from GEO? Uh, I don't I don't understand the question. So proceeding with the quality scores, the blue line, I hope you all can see, this gives us uh, the interpretation that the quality scores are of 36 this on the y-axis these are the quality scores if suppose the blue line comes somewhere around 20 to 30 or you know below 34 that means they do have a uh, low quality reads and mostly these low quality reads and adapter reads do get trimmed with the further analysis that is trimomatic or cut adapt when we remove the low quality reads and adapter sequences so we need not worry when uh, they show it with the fast qc file so uh, yes, after you have downloaded the file from GEO database, you have to uh, open in the terminal the, the directory and you have to type the command as fastq dump. Split files in your SRR ID. Yes, 34 is the lower bound, but uh, some do also consider 30 to 33 range is also fine. But usually the better one will be about 34, 34 to about 34. We can download a FASTQ file from PCG database as well. So uh, once you have downloaded your files from SRR, uh, SRA database, it is it will give us just an SRR file. So to convert them to fastq files, we need to use the command fastq dump split files and give the SRR ID file name. Then it will give us two read files, read one and read two, such as this. It will give us a read one file and a read two file, which we need for our analysis. So directly down after downloading, we have to use fastq dump command. 
which I have uh, mentioned in the uh, message box. And I shall be uh, sharing the SOP again along with this command. It's just a graphical interface to answer your color question. So green means it's of uh, like how we have yellow means it's a warning sign that you know the quality is not up to the mark, but it's okay. And red means it's a definitely of a very poor quality. If the line is in the red area of the graph, it's a very poor quality. We might have to discard the reads. Yellow means maybe we can trim them. And green means that the quality score is very good and we need not trim any reads for our analysis. So this was the per base sequence quality. Uh, then we have per sequence quality scores. And this gives a graphical interpretation again. So this is a very good quality score which is giving us because the graph is a perfect graph here. Then we'll have to look for a GC content so this is, it does not uh, pass the filter, the per GC content, it does not pass the filter, but this is maybe because it has a lot of adapter sequences. So we, we cannot take the judgment right now because this is a raw data which I have downloaded. After trimming again, when we do the fast QC uh, parameter, we'll have to take a call based on that result. Then we have to check for adapter content as well as KMA uh, content and uh, we'll have to look for sequence duplication levels so all these filters which have which are not passed we need not worry about them right away because we are just used the raw data after we do the quality processing we can uh, look if uh, again we can take the fast qc analysis and give us yes yes we can use fast qc for nanopore reads as well I'll also check if other tools are available for checking the fast QC for nanopore reads. Uh, so uh, till now, is it is everything clear, or shall I repeat something? Uh, please let me know. You can switch on your mic and ask me your questions. Hello. Uh, any query, please feel free to ask. Hello. Hello, yes. Yes, madam. Hello. Yeah, can you please uh, repeat it quickly from the beginning when you opened the NCP? I, I didn't get what you were writing. Uh, uh, WGC, can you write it in, in the search or what? Hello. Uh, could you be please clear? Uh, or can you just type it? Uh, your voice is breaking very much. All right. All right. Uh, for yes, we do need different uh, tools to trim and analyze based on the sequencing methods. But the trimming tool and the alignment tool for almost all the analysis is the same. That is fast QC uh, and BWA or Botai to tools. Yes, there is a chance we may lose a valuable sequencing read, but uh, we cannot proceed further when we if the uh, quality is very poor because that may be a false positive also. So it's not safe to proceed with a low quality read. Uh, sure, sure. Uh, so once we open NCBI, uh, sure, I can explain the step by step things to be done like a future. So first step for downloading the data, we need to go to GEO, which is a NCBI database itself. That is Gene Expression Omnibus. And the keyword we need is whole genome sequencing, that is WGS with a short, uh, short form. So we get a hyperlink here. 
GEO is a database which has all publicly available data sets. Uh, all various scientists and researchers have submitted their data sets in this database so that we can directly access them. And once we mention the set uh, term of interest over here, we can select the study of our interest. But in GEO data set, we have many platforms and many studies of available. It need not be just WGS which comes here. It can also be a high throughput sequencing analysis platform that is done for RNA sequencing analysis. So we might have to cross check exactly what is the library they have used for analysis here. So the first application, for example, it talks about whole genome sequencing alone. So here we can cross check again. It does mention that they have done whole genome sequencing study here. So once we are clear, clear about the type of study they have done and the library they have used, we can go to the SRA ID. This is the very easy form for downloading data, which I'm showing. We have, of course, many different ways, uh, which I shall, which are very advanced ways. Maybe I don't want to confuse you right away. SRA ID, and we click on the ID. We get a set of samples available in the study. So this study has five samples here. We have five samples in the study. And to obtain each data, we have to click on each of the study. It will open, redirect us to a page like this, and it has a run ID. So we click on the run ID. And we go to data access tab here for downloading the data. The data access tab gives us links, the cloud links. One is Amazon cloud link, and the other one is NCBI link. We can select either of the link. So in Windows or in Linux, we can either directly click the link and it will be downloaded in the download section or we can copy the link as it is and we can go to the Linux terminal or Ubuntu terminal in your system. We can just type the command wget, I'll mention again. And then we can just paste the link we have copied there and just press enter. It will be direct, downloaded in the directory I am currently in. That's it. So this is the SRR file which is downloading. So once it downloads, what I need is read one and read two because this is Illumina paired reads. So to get the paired reads, we'll have to convert them using fast Q dump. So fast to dump, and because we have two reads, we have to mention split files as a command and download the SRR ID. The, uh, mention the SRR ID over here. This is that's it. So it will convert this this folder into read one file and read two file, such as this is the read one file, and this will be the read two file. Underscore one is the read one file. Underscore two is the read two file. So uh, one most important thing is in Illumina parent sequencing will have read one and read two file. Yeah, uh, one is a basic tools which I have used here mentioned here are used for analysis. I will be sharing this presentation so that you can make a list of tools you can use for yeah so uh, I hope this slide is clear visible in a very clear way. So list of uh, tools here for quality control we have fast QC tool fast P tool and NGS QC toolkit, etc. So we can use either of the tool for our analysis. Then we have uh, for trimming, we have trimomatic tool, cut adapt tool, BB duck toolkit is there. So we can decide based on how, how much our system is able to process and the computation power and accordingly download. Some tools require huge computational memory and space, and some tools need not. So based on that, uh, we can download the tools and workflows.
uh, Sapnita, may I know what is the command you have typed? Then uh, for for uh, those who are not able to access Illumina or uh, sorry Linux file system operating system, what we have is we have Galaxy. This is a bioinformatics workbench. Database. So this is accessible for everyone, Windows system users, Linux system users, or Mac users. In Galaxy the Bioinformatics, we can use tools for many of our analysis. One example is, I will show, yeah. So we, I need a quality score. Read. So I'll just type fast QC here. And it is giving me a tool, fast QC. So I just have to open it and give my read data. So I have a database downloaded over here. And I have a raw data which I have downloaded. I just have to click on the folder icon, go to upload section. Yes, uh, W click command if it is not functioning, maybe you'll have to up update your Linux. You can try using sudo at get it. You can copy paste this command once it updates. Maybe you can try with W get or you can install W get with sudo. So in Galaxy Workbench, coming back, we can, uh, so I have a directory here where I have downloaded all the raw data. So I will go to the directory via Galaxy here. I can select choose local files. Then I can select either of the read files. So I'm choosing the read two file here. You can take one by one also, that's not a problem, each read file. Of course, it will be time consuming, but uh, this is the easy way. Because my reads are human, I can select the genome I know. And I'll just select start over here. So it will take some time for processing it. Maybe you can try using Galaxy Workbench in case you have uh, difficulty in installing FastQC in your system. You can directly go to Galaxy, search for FastQC. And even one file if you have downloaded is enough. Uh, the share, of, I have means, one second, I'll reshare it. Yeah, I hope the screen is this good. You can upload them one by one, or you can uh, use 